ever wondered why people who have no chance winning an election take part in an election? If you don't have an answer to that, this video is for you. Earlier today, well, earlier yesterday, was it yesterday? The other day. Well, depending on when this video goes up. A friend of mine, we were watching these presidential nominations going on on TV. Uh, I mean, they've been happening for the last uh, the last two days, Monday and Tuesday. And there are people that were actually that were nominated. I mean, we have a big, big number this year. 11 candidates contesting for the presidential seat. Honestly speaking, some of these guys don't stand a chance whatsoever. It's very clear from the word go. But they still do this. I was chatting with a friend of mine and he was asking me, but Collins, why do people do this? And, and I had to explain this to him. And that is, and I figured there's people, there's probably more people like him who have no idea why people do things like this. So here he goes. You see, this is all about PR. Just that word. Every time you appear on TV, on radio, uh, in print, um, or even on these different websites, there's a value that is attached to that appearance. And this value is actually measured upon what would it cost you ordinarily for you to get the same sort of appearance. When you run for president or any election for that sake, um, there's so many things that come with it. There's uh, TV visibility, the different interviews that you will get. There's radio, radio, uh, radio, radio appearances that you're going to make. You're not going to be paying for these things, right? Because you are a presidential candidate. You're going to be getting all these things for free. If you make great use of this appearance, of all this, of this, all this media attention that you're getting, you will be able to get so much more value than you will be spending. Take an example. The last two days that have happened, there's some people who contested for the presidential seat that have got so much value for themselves in terms of PR value than the 20 million that they've actually deposited in the bank for nominations. Look at it this way. If you had political ambitions, such an opportunity as a presidential elections or nominations like this would actually work as a launch pad for your next move. If you run for for the president's seat right now. Um, take an example of this young guy, the student, I, I, I forget his name. Or maybe let's look at the only lady candidate that we have, Nancy Kalemba, all right? If she has ambitions to run for MP in the next elections, she's already created a name. People now will know who she is. If she goes to the villages and she's looking for elections, my friend, she has a step ahead of whoever is going to contest against her. Why? Because she's a, she's been able to create her profile this year. She's been she started. She's had a five years head start from whoever is going to be running against her. And, and that's the bigger picture. That's usually what people do. So they get in these things not because of the short win from those particular elections, but it's the long game that they are playing. And that is something most people do not know. But even if you're not into politics, even if it's not just political benefits, if you went for a project pitch next year, one is your company, the other company is Nancy Kalimba's company. If you walked into the boardroom to make a pitch, and I can tell you for a fact, when Nancy walks in there and probably 10, four out of eight people or six people that are in the boardroom will recognize her face. You, on the other hand, when you walk in, no one is going to recognize your face. It's going to be harder for you to create that rapport, to make them, to create that comfort ground where the, where the people in the boardroom feel comfortable that they know you, which will come right there and then for that person who has been visible to them in the media that's the beauty of media that's what media does for people that people do not understand so my friend do not be fooled these elections are not about the short-term goals or short-term wins they're actually about the long game do not see these 11 people or well one of them is going to win do not see these 10 people contesting for one seat and then you're thinking they're wasting their time no they are not wasting their time they are actually looking at the longer goal what are they planning? Are they planning to get back into, into politics? Are they planning to launch something as a private business or consultancy or something that they're doing? And I can tell you for a fact, if those guys, if any of those guys stand against you, they stand a bigger chance. You've seen people who have done it in the past to grow their profiles. Unfortunately, unfortunately, 
most people have not been successful to use this opportunity or maybe it's because we're not in, we're not actively in their lives for us to be able to watch what benefits they have got from contesting in such a race or something like that but long short answer to why people get involved in elections like this is the long game they're playing the long game they're just looking at how, um, what indirect opportunities they can get from the visibility that they will get from these elections and if you're out there and you're wondering how you can also take advantage of something like this media feed on media use pr feed on media get in the media get media presence and milk milk that presence as much as possible use it for all your other things that you're doing for you to be able to benefit and have an advantage over that other person who's known by no one all right that's it it was very quick uh, i thought i'd answer it quick for people who are wondering about the same so hit the subscribe button again don't forget i will always say that hit the subscribe button i have 71 percent of you guys watching my videos and not subscribing change that hit the subscribe button right now and I will see you on my next video. Yeah.